Hey everybody and welcome back to Crafty Made Easy. If you're interested to see how I made these drink keychains, stand by. So items you'll need to complete this project will include these little mini cups. So you'll definitely need these. I purchased these off of Alibaba, I think, or I think it was Alibaba. But you can purchase these off of Amazon. Um, they come with the um, bottoms. They come with the, oops, the dome lids and the flat ones and they come with straws now the straws are pink but you can spray paint them any color that you want so it comes with that and i think it came with 15 yeah maybe 15 i think that's what uh, amazon sells it alibaba of course will be cheaper i think i brought 15 for six something um on amazon i'll have a link below how much um it costs um you'll also need um epsom salt if you want to do it one way or you can use this the um decorative filler you can use that and um, i'll have everything linked down in the description box below where i purchased everything at you'll need some alcohol inks for color you'll need the glycerin to do the moving keychain and you'll need keychain links of course the jump rings and what else Oh, some medicine cups and popsicle sticks to kind of stir and mix your alcohol ink in with the Epsom salt. And I think that's it. I, if I'm missing anything, um, I will definitely put it down in the description box below. Oh, I forgot the image. So you'll need some type of image to go on the front of your cup. You can do whichever one you want. Um, and you want them to be one inch images. So, um, yeah, I think that's it, y'all. It was a lot, but I think that was it. Again, if I miss anything, I'll definitely put it in the description box below. All right, so now that I was out the way, let's get started. All right, so I'll be showing you two different ways to do it. So this one is the liquid one where your contents is kind of moving around. And then there is the solid one where it's the slushy. I mean, it is still kind of moving around, but it's no liquid in it. All right. And then I did this one where it's like, the slush is half done and you're kind of like, you know, tilting it to the side and stuff like that. And I just put a little UV resin on the top to kind of um, lay the, um, so the top of the slushy wouldn't move. All right, so let's get started, y'all. I made a mess. Okay, so if you're doing the liquid one, so the liquid one, there is a hole at the bottom of these cups so this side is sealed this one is not sealed so what you want to do before you do anything is take a little bit of uv resin and put it over that hole do not oh do not forget to do that if you do forget to um seal that hole and you go to pour your liquid in, it will go ahead and run right out the bottom. <laughs> so trust me, um, I know from experience. And it doesn't take long to seal, so I'm gonna do that to two more. Now for the slushy one, you don't necessarily have to seal it, but um, if you want to, you can. The slush does not come out, the little holes or the Epsom salt does not come out of the little holes, so. You don't necessarily have to seal it, but um, if you want to, you can. I'm using a UV light. My um, The plug I'm using in the core is very short, <laughs> so <laughs> I, that's why I don't have it on camera. All right, so I went ahead and sealed two of them. All right, so that is all secured. Did I mention the glycerin? I think I mentioned the glycerin. I'm not sure. I, it was so many things that you needed for this project. So for this one, 
for the um, one they'll move, I'm going to use the decorative filler. I'm not going to use the Epsom salt because the Epsom salt will just dissolve in the um, liquid. So you, I'm going to use the um, filler because it's plastic. It won't move or anything like that. So you're going to put as much ice or as little ice as you want in there. If you don't want that much ice, you can pour some out. And I think I put a little too much in there. There we go. And you can also use these ones. These will just be like bigger cubes. Let me just show you how it will look. And so it will just be like bigger cubes in there. So you can use the big ones or you can use the little ones. For this one, I actually mixed it and put big and small cubes in there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's bigger and small, smaller cubes in there. So then you're going to take whatever color um, drink you want to make. If you want it to be lemonade, orange juice, um, cherry cool, whatever you want it to be. Okay. <laughs> you can put it, um, put the color in there. So let me see. What did I do with my red? I must have put it back. Okay. So I'm actually going to make red and all you're going to do is take a little bit of the glycerin put it in the medicine cup and take a little bit of water and just like when you do the um what are those things called the um Oh my goodness, I can't think. The shaker cups, you know, with the glitter and stuff in it, that's all you're doing. You're mixing the glycerin with the um, the snow globe. There it is. The snow globe cups. You're mixing the glycerin in the water, and you're going to put as much as how much you want it to move or whatever. And you can also use baby oil. You don't necessarily have to use glycerin. I just chose to use glycerin. You can use baby oil, whatever you use to make your um, snow globe cups, you can use with this. Okay, and then you're just going to pour. And, I want to... and you can fill it up all the way. You can not fill it up all the way. However you want to do it, it's your, totally up to you. I think I might pour some of this liquid back out. So if you looked at it and it was too much liquid, you can do exactly what I just did and pour some out. All so what I'm going to do is put a little UV resin on the lid so it can um, close. So you're just going to put it on the lip. Or you could put it inside the um, lid like that. Try not to put too much because remember it will um, squeeze. And then you'll um, put this underneath the UV lamp for about two to four minutes or put it in the sun for about 20 minutes to cure and I'll be back. All right, and then I'm going to do one with the big, bigger cubes just to show you how it would look. Let's see. I'm going to do the same thing. Water. Or... I'm pulling up the glycerin, talking about water. Glycerin, water. It's been one of those long days, long craft day. So I have a lot of videos coming up. Hopefully you'll enjoy them.
If you want to see those videos, just hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to so be notified when I drop new videos. And you just stir it up so it cannot look cloudy anymore. And this is Lemon by Marabou. I'm just going to stir that in there. And I'm just going to pour it on top. And that's it. And remember to seal your bottom. Because if it is not sealed, you will have liquid all over the place. Okay? And then you're going to, I want a flat top. Or I can put a, uh, yeah, I'll do that too. I can do one of those tops. Um, and then you'll just repeat the same thing. So you can use your flat top or your, oops, your dome top. And just put some UV resin. Top one, clean up any excess, and put it underneath the UV lamp. All right. All righty, so this is the little one. Okay, and we can put a straw in it. Where's my white straw? Now, how I spray painted these straws. So it has a hole in a hole in it, and then the bottom is sealed. So what I did was I made I cut a um pool noodle and put toothpicks at the top, and then I just plopped it on there as such, and then sprayed the straw. So you see this one is green, and then to get the top of the straw, this part right here, since it was face down, I just used a piece of car stock, double-sided tape, and then taped it on there as such, and then spray painted it again. And I did the same with the green ones. Um, and that, that way it doesn't move. At first I just laid it down and sprayed it, but it got stuck to the surface, um, to the cardboard that was there, and it got all messed up. So I just sanded them down, and then um, redid it. All right, so I went and put this in there. It's kind of, it's stuck in there really good. But um, to make sure it adheres in there or it stays put, you can use a little UV resin and put it underneath the um, UV lamp. This, because I think because of the paint, it's like really tight in there, so it's, it's not moving. Um, so we're gonna sit that to the side and then we're gonna put the last little touches on there um, at the end. The next one I'm gonna show you is the um, Epsom salt. So all you're gonna do is get a medicine cup, scoop some of the Epsom salt out into the medicine cup, and such. So you're just gonna get the amount that you want in the medicine cup, and then you're gonna take your alcohol ink and you're just gonna drop a few dots in there. A little does go a long way. And then you're going to get a popsicle stick. I'm gonna break this one. I don't feel like grabbing another one. All right, and then you'll just stir it up. And it's gonna be like a little blueberry slushy. You just, you'll just mix it until all of your Epsom salt is blue. And you may have to um, get another medicine cup and swap it just so you can get all the um, Epsom salt, the stuff at the bottom. I'm gonna actually put another dot in there because I want it to be just a little bit darker. 
It looks like a snow cone. This do not eat. And make sure if you're selling it and um, you put on there, do not consume the con the contents inside. Just make sure you put that disclaimer that you think it would be common sense, but all sense is not common. So <laughs> make sure you put a disclaimer for people not to open and eat the contents inside. And if it does break apart for any reason, to just throw away and not to consume the contents on the inside. You don't have to seal the bottom because um, the Epsom salt will not pour out the little hole. But just be careful. See, I just poured it. Try not to get it in the um, grooves because It'll make it hard to seal. And then you'll get your dome. Now, I did put some in the top to, to make it um, like a full cone or a full slurpee or a full um, slushy, but it didn't look right. So, <laughs> I'm not going to do that here. But um, if you wanted to, you can put some at the top and see how you like it i didn't like it so i'm not going to um all right so then you'll just put your uv resin at the top put your dome on and if you wanted to you could put the flat top on it's totally up to you um Flush would look like with the flat top. Mm, it's still cute. All right, and I'm just gonna put this underneath the UV lamp. All right, so I'll be using sticker paper for my images. You can use water slide, or you can use the clear water slide, or you can use the white water slide. I just found it was easier to just use stickers. And I printed out one inch circles and cut them out with my Cricut machine. So that's all you do is just adhere them. You can get the images off of Google and just make sure you uh, flatten it so it can just make the circle around it and not cut all in between everything. All right, so that is that one. And all you do is just take your jump ring Take your pliers, take the other plier, twist it, put it through the hole on the side, get your keychain, and they have the smaller circles or the bigger circles. I'm using the smaller one for this one, and you just put it through there, and there you go. And that is your keychain. Now, if you want to add a tassel, you can add a tassel. I'm gonna use the smaller jump ring. All right, and you just attach it like that. Sorry for the noises in the background. I have my window open, so it's kids playing. Um, there you go. And I put the green straw in there because it's Starbucks. So let me go ahead and assemble the other ones and I'll be right back.
put your little sticker on and you put your straw in and your little tassel if you want to put a tassel on there that is pretty much it um for the sonic ones i did cut around the um bow tie shape <laughs> That's what you're going to call it. I did cut around the bow tie shape because it was originally like this with the sticker. But I didn't like all that white in the background. So I just cut around the um, shape. And I like that much better than the actual um, circle. So, yeah, this is really cute. Oh, this is with the slushy, And the colors will just mix together. Now, if you want it fuller, like I said, you can put stuff up top, but it didn't quite look right to me, so I didn't put any um, at the top. And then this is with the big ice cubes. And it's like stuck on my finger. There we go. This is with the little ice cubes. And then I did like a little coffee one, like a... Uh, what is it an iced coffee i should have put a little white in there for like milk or something but whatever um that's that one and i showed you the big ice cubes and then these two so these ones won't this two, these two won't mix because actually i was going to do like a half full plushie but then i changed my mind and then added red on there so the yellow won't mix too much in with the red because it is uv resin down but um i thought that was really cute to have the two flavors in there so you can do whatever you want whatever type of drink you want um you can actually do colors for someone's flag or colors for someone's wedding or colors for any type of occasion it's totally up to you um i hope you enjoyed this little project or this little video that i did if you did go ahead and hit me with that thumbs up button and go ahead and share this video to anyone that is in the craft world or just wants to kind of look at something to do for a type of favor. And also, if you have not joined my uh, Facebook group, go ahead and join my Facebook group. It is Crafting Me Easy, same as the title of the YouTube channel, and it will also be down in the description box below. I'll also put everything that I use to complete these this project down in the description box below so you can... Um, either go to the website or click on Amazon to um, purchase your own items. All right, y'all, with everything done and said, I hope you have a wonderful day. Be blessed. Until next time, peace.